Hi. It's been a while. I know. I, I said that last time. But last time, uh, I didn't think I'd be moving so soon. And then, you know, gotta get everything set up. I had to ship my monitor out and everything. It was this whole thing. And then it's just been really hot. And I, I know John's complaining. But we're back. And we're going to continue. Le eat. Le eat. I was originally going to do like the Smash Brothers thing. I think I talked about this already. No, no, because no, the Smash Brothers thing was recorded after this. But I was originally going to do a Smash Brothers thing because I was like, I like Smash Brothers. But the recording thing I use on has like this latency and I just hate it. I'm going to need like a second monitor before I do anything that requires like perfect timing with, um, with, uh, what's it called? with um switch games <laughs> and i don't remember what i was doing last time i remember there was a murder mystery thing where um people lie and the girl here eats the lies and the guy here is a shape-shifting liar uh huge sword okay but we're back at it though you know last time i played this i was like really sleepy if you couldn't tell and uh because you know i i um we're vampires we're nocturnal creatures so i spend a lot of my daytime playing games kind of like you know you, normal people would spend their night times playing games so my schedule was all wonky you know how it is, or you don't. What? This game has a lot of, I'm not sure where to go. Okay, apparently let's go here. Yawn. Oh, excuse me. It's getting dark already. I'm feeling you're drowsy. I like to talk some. Is it, is it now all right? Oh yes, though my brain might be a bit slow if you insist, detective. Detective, Leo's a skimp. Good. Now, I'd like you to repeat what you told me earlier today. Sorry about that. Uh, also, if you could tell me what happened after you heard the scream. Uh, er, last night I was reading and then I nodded off. I heard a scream, so er, I heard a scream which woke me up. And then I locked the front door. I never went outside at all. And it would have been dangerous if the wolf got inside. He told some lies there. Ellipses. I'll explain after this. We'll I'll explain after we take care of this. Hmm. He smells like lies, but I don't know. If you're not sure, check the notes and remember what you heard. Why do you never tell me the answer when you know it already, Leo? Because you'll never progress from idiocy if I just tell you. Makes sense. I'll do my best. There's notes. Uh, is this Keith? The wolf is dangerous. I locked the front door. I nodded off. Never went out at all. That's the lie. Stun gun. And... Howl. Uh... Breathe fire. I do remember the door being locked. The wolf is dangerous, is that the lie? And how? This makes me want to play Undertale, not so. I mean, I, uh, what's the other one? The, the, <laughs> the one, 
never found that sword. Which I do plan on doing. I I was actually really excited when it got added to Switch S and Yes, and I was planning on recording it eventually. Last night, your sister saw you leaving the house, Keith. You told me that your sister was a quiet type who rarely spoke. But she did talk to this girl here. I see. On top of that, it seems like you told her not to go outside. In addition, not a single animal could be found around the whole village. So really, no wolf is there. So then why? Oopsies. Since it's dangerous outside, especially when the strangers are in town. Haven't you seen someone attack yourself? I didn't want her to see that kind of thing, nor tell her about it. So this vampire legend you said you didn't know about, but a book in the library had information about vampires. A diary, I suppose. The author seemed to be Jailer Rigfire, a relative of yours, surely? And this photo, in addition to Mr. Jail, there's you and your sister, with your names written on the back as well. Ellipses. You also evidently told your sister that there was no past records remaining. Yes. That indeed my father's name so the legend is sir is real certainly we are descendants of vampire family and shouldn't you be leaving this town quickly huh what do you mean by that because it's dark night. it's a dark night tonight effie ellipses leo use the same things that informant girl had where'd he go I saw him go outside. He's really fast. I couldn't catch him. No, that's fine. We have to follow. The cops should be fine, but fo feathers might be in danger. It's spooky. Huh. Lock's busted. Seems sturdy. What the? Feels kind of like... It feels like he's done this before, huh? Hey, lend me that. Huh? That's my collar. The juice stuff was making it hard to see. Man, this is all sticky. Jeez. When we get to the next town, I'll buy you a new one. Okay. If the captain meets up with feathers, they'd give me that'd give me relief, some relief. But wonder if there's any other exits. Go back here. No. Okay. Oh wait. Back here. No. Stop him. This mirror? Off kilter. Thick book. Lots of books. And uh, yeah, I would really like to play Earthbound, but I want to like start up another thing. Because I already have Bioshock and um, Pokemon Conquest, which I really need to gets a grinding on that that's probably gonna be the next episode that I'm gonna do is after I finish like catching up some a key can I, use it? Um, I plan on probably f finishing I don't know if I'm I'd probably finish Bioshock before I finish Conquest because I imagine Bioshock is not nearly as long as Conquest from what I've heard and uh, I'll probably do longer episodes of Bioshock than Conquest because it's a pretty straightforward linear game. Doesn't require any sort of what's been reading, how to kill vampires. Drive a stake in the heart, cut off their head. I think that's the book Keith was reading. What's the meaning of this? Maybe there'd be something in this room too. This is a book about vampires, too. Vampires are weak against sunlight. Is that sh is this true? Seems it hurts them a bunch. But hold on. When I first met him, what a liar we've got here. I guess it's, it's right. Is his sister Rachel right? Uh, well, she told her, he told her not to leave when strangers are around, so she never left her room. I think I should ask her something. Since uh, Bioshock's kind of one of those straightforwards, you know, go from point A to point B. There's not really any grinding or anything in between. So I think I can kind of, you know, crank out a video or two pretty easily while I'm grinding in Pokemon Conquest. Because I, I do want to get back on track. And, you know, now that 
I have my stuff set up. I'm going to be making more videos more often, hopefully. We'll see. Ellipses. I don't make any promises and then end up... But I won't go another month hiatus. That was uh, I know, over a month, actually. I know that was a while and looked like I <laughs> stopped making videos. But no, I'm still here. We're still making videos. And I'm still going to be, you know... I'm going to finish these games because I have so many games I want to finish and play and all that. I want to record them. You know, I just... Don't you scare me. <laughs> don't. You're going to scare the heck out of Rachel. Rachel, hey, I want to talk. No. Good. No good? She's asleep. There might not be much time. Overflowing with lies. Can't keep them under control anymore. A flood of lies. You've driven... When you're driven by lies, things get annoying. If they're overflowing, I should get rid of them. Gotta eat them. Jev? Uh, okay. Do I have like healing items or anything like that? I do. You lie. No, her speed is slower, so he doesn't even get the attack buff when he uses his attack before she abuffs him. Unfortunately. A lie. All cleaned up. Hmm? What's this? A key from somewhere, I guess. And what rooms are locked? Hey, Leo. You don't die on me, will you? What's this? All of a sudden? If you did die, I'd listen. Just shut up and follow behind me. As for the rest, I'll protect you. Oopsies. What's that sound? That's one of a, that's one a mess. That one's a mess. Don't bother with that one. Try and avoid it. Alright. Uh, back here. Actually, can I fight these? I mean, you know, might as well. Lie grinding. Can't eat the whole thing. Can I just keep grinding this? I mean, <laughs> why not? It's just giving me a bunch of levels. Lie. More. More. Can't eat the whole thing. What? Uh, ooh. So I guess I could just, I'll just grind here while I talk for a bit. Um, so... I, I do want to finish Pokemon Conquest. It it is a lot longer of a game than I thought it would go, was gonna be. You know, typically Pokemon games are relatively short, though it is you know a spin-off, so there's that. But uh, I didn't know it was gonna be that long, and I think there might have to be longer grinding sessions at some point for some of the stuff because, from what I've heard, that there's like. A true ending is one of those kind of games, which I don't mind that. It's just not what I expected. <laughs> I was getting into it because I never played it when it first came out. I think this—I think it was like around the time where the 3DS came out, 
and most people lost interest in the DS. Because, you know, 3DS is coming out. Is this a cool, shiny new 3D thing? But uh, I'm still enjoying the game. I just gonna, I just have to find the time and willpower to grind in between episodes to catch up. Because you know I can't just go from battle to battle. But I, uh, I think my next episode might be that, depending on you know when I can finish that. I think you'll you'll probably be seeing this on like Thursday, and uh, I'll try to get another video in soon after that. Look how strong we've gotten. I don't know if these levels mean anything. <laughs> I know this game's like a trilogy, and I might like do like a few episodes in these games in between, you know, just like a, a little breather. I have three things going on, which I was kind of trying to avoid, but since this game, I imagine, is fairly short, this might be the last episode, depending on, you know, how far I get into this, and then I'll get back to, you know, probably Conquest, and then some more Bioshock. And then, maybe after I finish Bioshock, I might go into Earthbound, or my original intention, um, what was it called again? Uh, what was it called? Um, Yokai Watch, because I really wanted to get into the Yokai Watch franchise. I have to look into like the order and things like that. But it's either that or I go to Bioshock 2. But we'll see. It's just, you know, free levels. Let me save while we're here as well. Look at how much we've grown. <laughs> Watch me level up all this much just for it to not be needed. Yeah, it gives me time to talk, you know. I want to get into... I, what I mostly want to try to do is get into a sort of, like, pattern rhythm of, like, games that have either, either like, one-off games or games that have, like, if they have, like, um, sequels or trilogies and things like that, maybe, like, play the game play something else in between and then go to the next game, you know, get like a rhythm going. Because, uh, you know, I don't want it because I feel like it'd be a little messy if I just, you know, played one game and then just didn't go back to the sequel at any point because then it's like, well then, you know, you're missing out on the whole game so a trilogy. Okay, I think think we're good. Probably. Maybe the levels carry over to, like, you know, the next game. It reads your data. Like, uh, Psycho Mantis. I see you've been playing Ender Lilies. A page torn out of that book. With every generation, each generation of vampire blood our family has weakened, but there's a small chance of offspring being born with a dense vampire blood. Control of their powers is unstable, and they may attack people without realizing exi existing with humans is a difficult prospect. Thus, since moving to this town, a rule has been established to do away with such children if one is born. Two children were born to us, and one of them was born with a high concentration of vampire blood. Their power has not awakened, but it can't be long until then. But 
I couldn't lay a hand on my child of mine. My wife, too, perished upon birthing the second child, so I don't want to lose any more. Tomorrow, I'll hold a discussion with humans in the town. It's dark tonight. Night. So one of them has awakened as a vampire, and the other one's fine. The only one of the siblings is a vampire. So one of them doesn't suck blood. And the other, on the other hand, one of them has to suck blood to live. But then the, they did by attacking all the prior townspeople and animals. Captain's orders. I'm here to save you. Huh? Where did you come from, mister? I'm a shadow dragon. It allows me to generally ignore physical objects. Obstacles. Hey, vice captain, should it be a girl? Should be a girl in this mansion. Any idea about her? A girl? This is a mansion? This is like a... Just a normal house. A girl? This is the last room I've checked, and all I've found is you two. Exclamation mark. Rachel's not here. Where's the captain? He ev evacuated the informant and her assistant, then went to patrol outside. Sounds dangerous. Hey, what are you mumbling about? Get outside quick. And after that, I want you to guard to guard the informant. And what do you, what do you orders me to me, Mr. Brad? Please, just this once. Exclamation! You better catch him. We're out. Listen, it's not like that. I'm lending you a hand. I'll go to the informant and check the cap. Thanks, you're a real help. It's a whole mess of lies, truth and lies, a bunch of bad, hazy feelings. Gotta do something about this quick. Okay, so there's just, just, just more. Did I get any more? Oh. That's why we don't fight it. Well, we've leveled up a lot, you know. It's a lot of smacking. I think they'd come up with like, I don't know, one or two other more uh, sound effects for attacking. Just sounds like people are just smacking each other. Okay. That was actually a decent amount of experience. I like to save a lot. Can I heal? Please? No? Is this where we heal? Wait. Yes. Slip. Thank you. And now we need to find back here. It's almost of oil, but I can light it for a second. I thought that was a dead body. Oh, no, that was a dead body. Captain! Is he dead? Did someone die again? Look, he's... No, I don't. Mr. Captain! This sensation. Looks like I died. Morning, Captain. Blood wasn't sucked. Hmm. They do say dragon's blood doesn't taste very good, you know. Good to know. Um, Mr. Captain, are you a ghost? Spirit? Zombie? I'm an immortal dragon. I'm undead. Immortal. You can't die. This guy stab... Stab him, cook him, put him in a stew. Can't die. But he just revived, so I doubt he can do much. Yeah, you're right. The one who attacked me, it was th that girl. Well, <laughs> yeah. Great job, Sherlock. <laughs> I was caught completely unawares. Completely unawares. Weird. Then, well, as you see, after that, she ran further down, then suddenly collapsed. And then another one, leave the rest to us. But we're experts from he out, from here on out, you see. Let me rest a bit. Anything helps. I'll be right there. He's going to sleep. Still got the knife in him. Let's go, Effie. Wake me up when I'm dead. <laughs> Good to see you again. So you didn't leave town after all? Well, don't say I didn't warn you. No complaints if I kill you and suck your blood. First question, are you a vampire? That's right, I'm a vampire. Did you check that woman last night? Yes, that was me. 
Enough lies. Keep it to that, please. I first bed you in the morning, but the sun's still out. Found the rest of the diary stowed in the room behind the kitchen. According to that, only one sibling inherited the vampire blood. Lies? I'm not lying. It was me who attacked her last night and sucked her blood. You're gonna get swallowed up, kid. It was me who attacked the townspeople and my own father. I did it all. Rachel didn't do anything. I didn't expect an animation. Don't go answering questions I didn't even ask. You shouldn't lie so much if you're not used to it. Effie. No, it's too big, too sad. I don't want to. You're going to wait for him to swallow up by lies. I don't want that either. It's what you have to do. Only you can do it. Because I'm a liar too. Eat it all up so he won't tell them these lies anymore. I'll do it. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, throw three knives. Actually, let's just attack for now. And... Howl. Grinding was worth it. Not even enough for XP to level up. <laughs> I'll eat. I'll eat all of it for you. Rachel? Oopsies. Oopsies. I see. Father kept it secret all along. He. Wow. I wonder if vampires can make do with animal blood. Haha, <laughs> because there's no human blood in me too, of course. Rachel, did you attack someone last night? Last night? I was sleeping. I was, uh, sleeping, right? Is that right? Never mind then. I'm sure a wolf must have gotten into the town. You should be careful, Rachel. Brother, I'm sorry for strangling you. I felt strange all of a sudden. All the townspeople left after the incident as if fling. We've hunted out of all, out all. We hunted out all of the animals around town. My blood alone can't keep up. There's so little left. What should I do? People, travelers. I nodded off at night. Rachel went outside. And when I went out, I found Rachel asleep and the humans. How long did you know I've been lying? Hmm. All the, around the time I lied about being a detective and questioned you. Plus, you have a habit of smiling when you lie. You should be wary of habits like that. Ha. Huh? You know, I think I much prefer acting natural like this. Eh, it wears me out. But all the pieces were in plain sight, did you? You're right. Maybe I wanted someone to stop me. I knew it was all just selfishness. Both my father and I opposed th that rule and couldn't lay a hand on Rachel. But when you look at this, I suppose there was a good reason for the rule. Uh, have to redeem myself somehow. The town has become so empty. Well, anyway, you're still rather bloodstained. I can lend you some clothes if you like. No, I wouldn't be out here. I wouldn't be out here before you, those guys wake up. Well, I went to help them, and I got punched, and Mr. Captain fainted. What the hell? Don't scare me. And isn't that cookie 
thing Levin mentioned, a load of bull? What do you mean, anyway? The world may never know. You should, we should get going. Yawn. I'm sleepy. We have to walk on all those roads again? If you didn't like it, I'll leave you here. No, I do like it. Ha, <laughs> take care. Goodbye. Hey, give me a piggyback ride. Eek, sorry. Rock, paper, scissors. If you win, then sure. Got it. Here we go. Rock, paper. Le eat. So that's the first game in a trilogy of, I guess, little mini games, mini episodes. Created by me, Washiba. Well, we will, we will return to this with uh, probably some time like within the next month or so. Next month, this month, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I don't have like a clear schedule or anything. Oh, I don't have a clear schedule or anything like that. I was just wanted to, you know, finish this. Kind of did this a while ago. Um, Rachel and Keith. Rachel? But that was a nice little cute story. And I guess I'm not sure if it's going to be like the next one's going to be in the future. And thank you for making a game. Or it's going to be like a back to back thing. Who knows? But uh, hey, where are we going next? Hmm. Somewhere not too much of a walk would be nice. Somewhere with lots of fun games. Ooh, and somewhere cool. Hey, Leo, when I get smarter. I'll eat your lies for you, too. Maybe you should focus on learning to read first. <laughs> what are you so happy about? You're just covered in blood. To be continued? Now I've got a speed run. Leo, age 23, height... 170 centimeters. Skills lying. Likes beer, money, women. Dislikes likes annoyance. Con arms. He tells lies as easily as he breathes. He changes his appearance and name each new town. Effina, two months. Appearance, four years. Four years. Height, nine, six centimeters. Ability, eating lies. Likes papa, sweets. Dislikes reading. Dragon girl who feeds on lies. Energetic and inquisitive. She's not particularly smart, though. Keith, 18, height 167, uh, skills cooking, cleaning, likes family, dislikes horror movies. So there are movies. Th this is a society with, like, films, technology. A boy living in a Vermillion town, he lives in a humble life with his little sister Rachel. He has a bit of a longing for the outside world. R Rachel Rickfire, and then the Rickfire. Age 9. Uh... 134 centimeters, skills running, likes family stuff, animals talking, dislikes thunder, scary people. A girl living in Vermillion Town, a descendant of a family of vampires. At times, she has her ancestor tendency. She loves to talk. Uh, Della, uh, Della, age 26. He's 23, 26. Uh, skills martial arts, likes cute things, loves berries, dislikes gross bugs. Uh, hat wearing informants, cute kids, and loves love berries are her favorite things. If a sketchy fellow or bug comes along, she'll give them a whack. Uh, Rosemary, age 19. Skills playing piano, likes fun things, just like studying. Female informant with wings. Though the daughter of a well known aristocrat, she didn't want to carry on the name, so she fled home with Levin. Levin, age 28, likes singing, likes work, money, dislikes late people. A butler who accompanies Rosalie, uh, he, he periodically reports to Rosalie's parents in secret and about how she's doing, constantly getting pushed around. Mansfield, around 100, appearance 30. Immortality. The world likes the world people dragons, just likes evil. In a moral dragon, he serves as a captain of the police force who often takes his sweet time. Graves. Round 17, appearance about the same. 
phasing through objects, dragons. Dislikes drag likes dragons people, dislikes people. <laughs> Free. A young dragon of shadow vice captain of the police force, kind to dragons, but just has people all on the ball when it comes to working. These are different uh, songs. Oh, these are the videos. Okay. I guess this what happened. The bad thing is if I, I didn't figure out what the lies were, I guess. Hmm. Well, that was Le Eat. Come back next time for when I play something else. <laughs> Until then, see ya.